Erskine gave me a gift. The strength to fight against the forces of tyranny. There's too many of them! This is what I've been waiting for. Tell you what, this ain't how I pictured France at all. You said it. Not one day of sun in two weeks. The only girls I've seen have four legs and move. You here who just showed up with D Company? Oh, the captain. He's here. Yeah, the captain. What? He's a glorified poster boy. Poses for pictures and disappears when the action starts. I don't know. I heard he saved a bunch of guys in D Company who got captured. Wise up. It was staged for the newsreels. All that's for the folks back home. Nobody's coming to pull our butts out of this mess, kid. Yeah, what about the raid? <laughs> <laughs> Time to see how they take a punch. On your knees! They're not human! Pacific Americans! Let's see if Stark's shields can hold up to these weapons. are pinned down up ahead. Hurry! Hold the line! Show them what we're made of! We need to be a bit more hands-on. Rally some men and secure this room. I need a working radio ASAP. I'm on it, Captain. Big 
I've got. the enemy have ordnance like this they don't yet this is a different enemy get me Howard Stark Rogers, go ahead. Over. Rogers, it's Peggy. I've got some last minute things to go over before the drop. We've confirmed our analysis of the munitions you recovered last night. Howard Stark was able to identify the alloys in the firing chamber as a rare metal found only in the mountains of Bavaria. No small feat, I promise you. Our sources were able to narrow down the location to a remote castle compound in the Bavarian mountains. This complex doesn't show up on any of our liberated Hydra intel, so we can't be sure what we're up against. Take a look at the dossier on the table. It contains all the information we've managed to get so far. After years of planning and research, my time has come at last. Project Masterman is a reality. History shall record that Dr. Arnim Zola was the first to unlock the secrets of the human genome. And thus my immortality is assured. Using the blood of my benefactor, Johann Schmidt, I will replicate and surpass the work of the traitor, Abraham Erskine. The Americans believe they have created a perfect human specimen in their precious super soldier. They are fools. The perfection of the human body is a false goal. What does it profit us to perfect something inherently limited? No. To truly evolve, we must improve upon it. Herr Schall has secured a remote research facility and outfitted it with Hydra forces for my protection and assistance. The Schall has also honored me with the loan of the Tesseract Cube to aid in my research. Under his supervision, of course. He will not be disappointed. I shall work tirelessly until I have unlocked Erskine's secrets and taken them to places he never imagined, or perhaps feared to tread. It is my goal, my purpose, my destiny. Zone. Your job's to shut down the long-range air defenses. 
Drop from here. Get out as soon as I'm clear. Way to take out that gun. character in these two patterns. I just need to find it. See me coming a mile away. Gotta hit them from a distance. I see something up there. Shoot him. Tower's coming down. Gotta move.
gasoline. He had to answer to the Baron. Do you think he was sent to the dungeon? That would be a mercy compared. I bet there's a radio up there. I just hope the signal is strong enough. heirloom for a very strange family. I am overcome. Today, I was bequeathed the full history of the Zemo lineage by my father Hermann, the 11th Baron Zemo, as he lay upon his deathbed. The sorrow of his passing is quite nearly eclipsed by the joy and pride I feel in learning the truth of the glory inherent in our illustrious bloodline. I'm really getting the hang of this now. Captain America to headquarters. Come in. Over. Cap, this is Peggy. Are you all right? That drop. That was the easy part. Be advised, the flak's so heavy I could have walked down on it. We know. The invaders are on their way to back you up, but we need you to take out the long-range AA cannons before they can safely airdrop. Copy. Maintain schedule. By the time they get here, the skies will be clear. Captain America, out. Gotta take them out quick, before reinforcements get here.
Now this looks interesting. Stark would kill me if I don't take a look around. Of course, I was familiar with the legends of the first Baron Simo. How in 1480, Harbin Simo stood alone against an invading horde. Armed solely with a sword, he slew them all. He was elevated to nobility as a reward. But greatness was already in his blood. And today, I have learned the true reason he constructed Castle Simo so far into the remote mountain peaks. Zola was a madman, but this is obscene. I had assumed the Skull's head of security was a pompous old fool, but he proved to be neither. To my great surprise, he approached me as a willing research subject. He became obsessed with a mechanical glove I'd designed. It was one of my first experiments with the use of the cube. The grafting was an expensive and irreversible process, but the outcome was successful. Regrettably, the procedure was too time-consuming for mass production. But von Strucker is training with the device, and should it make him as deadly as I suspect, I may revisit the matter. guns hooked to these machines. If I disable them, maybe I can do this a little more quietly. Down two to go. 
I had always assumed the isolated mountainous location of Castle Zemo to be strategic, the better to defend against attacks from invaders or unruly peasants. And no doubt those were considerations, but it seems my ancestor was motivated by a desire to investigate legends of something buried under these mountains, something unimaginably powerful. Something referred to in half-remembered tales only as the Sleeper. Strike two. One more in that gun's history. That's a lot of heat venting from down there.
bring them running. Better not be here when they show up. That last cannon will be heavily guarded. But if I can't disable it, the invaders are sitting ducks. That'll come in handy. Welcome, Wagon. What's the matter, American? Man, fight him. It's him! Attack! There's a radio, there's an antenna. Bingo. Eyes open. If we fail, Zor is talking about releasing his monsters. And they'd as soon kill us as the American. <laughs> I need the security code. If I listen in on their internal communications, gotta find a radio. Aben Zemo began excavating beneath this castle even as it was constructed. Simultaneously, he oversaw the architectural innovations that, even then, reflected the brilliance of our line. But he would not live to see his quest reach fruition. That honor fell to the third baron, Hela Zemo. It was he who found the sleeper. But the journey was not ended. It was only beginning. It 
It appears the massive size of the sleeper, along with its highly advanced technology, confounded Helazimo. He could not determine how to fully excavate the sleeper without undermining and collapsing the mountain itself. But like all of our line, he would not accept defeat. He began analyzing the sleeper's makeup in search of a solution to its own confinement. Access doors have been updated. Stand by and take notes. Access to the service lift is now as follows. Alpha, Delta, 4, 4, Delta. Home run. Better than I hoped for. That should do it. Many secrets were unlocked by careful examination of the sleeper's technology. These, along with our meticulously bred genius, of course, enabled numerous advancements by subsequent Barons Zemo. Innovations that allowed excavation to proceed, albeit slowly. But it is I, the twelfth and greatest of us all, who will finally achieve the victory denied my ancestors. It is I who will at last wake the sleeper. This is Captain Rogers to HQ. Do you read? We read you, Cap. What's your status? I took out a second gun. Now I've entered what looks like a barracks area. Be advised, I still have one last cannon to neutralize. Long-range guns need open vistas to be effective. I probably got it installed on something tall. Based on what we know of the layout, I'd put my money on the roof of the estate building. Copy. I'll head in that direction, and try to create some diversions along the way. Good thinking. If we can distract them and damage their supply chain at the same time, so much the better. Over and out. Find him! Safety off. Fire on sight. The obvious place to begin is with the common foot soldier. Small genetic alterations make them more resilient. But the true breakthrough is a faster synaptic response between the eye and the brain. These men are capable of acquiring a target on firing with 100% accuracy three times more quickly than the average human. This increase in combat speed allows for them to be outfitted with both close and long-range ballistic weaponry. Security personnel are equipped with light armor and a shotgun for close-range skirmishing. 
Snipers forego armor for a long-range eye-mounted scope and a high-powered semi-automatic rifle. These enhancements to conventional troop warfare represent a mere stepping stone towards far more ambitious plans. Still, one must begin somewhere. What are the Sleeper's origins? Does it hail from the stars, from a distant future or some antediluvian past? Is it an artifact of long-forgotten gods? These questions are intriguing, but secondary to the matter of how the Sleeper will affect the future. The past has seen a proud line of parents, Simo. But for tomorrow, I must confess, Emperor Zemo has a certain poetry to it. Gun nest in the barn. Couldn't have picked a more obvious place if they tried.
Get it open. We're digging. They're turning this whole mountain into a weapon. I'd bet my last nickel that's an armory.
Country. If these reach the front lines, they'll cut our boys to pieces. Gotta destroy it all. They're fast. Igniting a few ammo caches should blow this place sky high. That should do it. Gotta get out fast. close. Can you hear me, American? Every man in this facility is hunting you. Every one of them finds you before I do. That lift is my ticket to the rooftop. Let's see. Alpha Delta 44 Delta. Open Sesame. <laughs> Top floor, ladies' hosiery and anti aircraft guns. There's the cannon. It'll be tough to reach. Maybe if I. It's the American! No time. It's too well guarded. Get it! Or face the barrel of <laughs> Practice makes perfect. That 
cable looks tough, but I'm betting my shield is tougher. That did it. It's already wobbling. If I sever a couple more anchor points, it's going down. How does one man elude Hydra's elite? You man can get him! him. Down. One more should do it. That's all that's holding it up. So much for their long-range air defenses. I need to find a radio and give them the all-clear. Captain America to base. Come in. Over. Cap, it's Peggy. Go ahead. Long-range air defenses are down. Repeat, the invaders are clear for drop. Copy. And just in time, too. Rogers. Carter. This is Fallsworth. We heard your transmission. Are you certain you took out all the long-range guns? What do you see? I wish I knew. They're deploying something new. More of Zola's hellish machinery. One's definitely a gun. Can you reach it? Not in time. Should we abort? Cap, repeat. Should we abort? Negative. Proceed as planned. But the gun... It aims with a radar dish. And that I can reach. Captain America, out. wreck that dish, the gun will be firing blind. At least then the invaders would have a fighting chance. Strucker is the least of your worries. That racket will bring reinforcements. 
Gotta set Stark's explosive where it'll do the most good. That looks like a load-bearing column. I've gotta work my way up to place the rest of these explosives fast. The invaders will be here any minute. Lots of weight on that beam. A little explosive putty should go a long way. Ah, Captain! So good to meet you in person. <laughs> look at you. Gaudy and common, like your country. And you look just like every other goose stepper I've put down tonight. Hardly. I am Baron von Strucker. I am nobility. I am your death, and the death of all you hold dear. Fire! to beg. Those explosives will take out the supports. Now for the dish itself. I have to plant some explosives within the radar dish. Can't risk it surviving the blast. Gotta finish with the explosives or the drop plane is a sitting duck. spot to plant explosives. But it's armored. You need to expose the interior. Did it. Now the other side. Wine. Von Stuckart does not die so easily. That cannon will remain intact. Pity I can't say the same for you. Get him! I don't have time for this. And neither do the invaders.
peasant is beneath me. Show the mongrel how to fake. Better hurry up, American. You're almost out of time. Here they come! Last charge. I hope I'm not too late. Strucker. Analysis. Stop. Try. Now, now, show our guests some courtesy. Captain, what a pleasure to meet face to face. I am Arnim Zola. How wonderful that you have awoken in time for me to show off my laboratory facilities. I trust Iron Cross is treating you gently? I'm afraid he was a bit uh, over eager earlier. His condition is adequate for our purposes. Oh, how rude of me. Captain, this is Madame Hydra, our highest ranking lieutenant. She commands the detention area. I would imagine you've never met a woman so powerful in your small-minded military, huh? I know a lady named Peggy who'd love to show you how wrong... Struggle all you like. It will do you no good. But I find it quite amusing. Your weakness disturbs you. It's all drained quite a bit of your blood for his experiments. By the time your strength returns, of course, you'll have outlived your usefulness. Not necessarily, madam. There's really no need for this unpleasantness, Captain. We have a great deal in common. I seek perfection, and you embody it. We should be allies, you and I. Go to hell. Oh, no, my friend. That would be you.
The late Dr. Erskine was a brilliant man. I have worked to recreate his super soldier serum for some time now, using fragmentary notes and samples of the Red Skull's blood. But they represent his early efforts, and my results have been... Um, flawed. But now, with your kind cooperation, using your blood samples and the observations I have made of you in combat, surely you realize you have only survived this long because I wished to test your capabilities. I finally have the missing pieces I need to perfect the serum, to complete Project Masterman, to create an army of Hydra agents as powerful as you. Then he is mine. No, not yet, I'm afraid. I need him intact until my research is complete. Keep him secured, but unarmed. We'll meet again soon enough. In the meantime, I have other guests to attend to. I wouldn't want your friends to feel neglected. Solo doesn't object if I break them. <laughs> Thank you. 
Americans escaped! Stop it! Radio. Rogers to base. Come in. Over. Captain, it's Peggy. Thank God you're alive. What's your status? I'm in a prison complex. Probably underground. They took the shield and my supply belt. Has there been any word from the invaders? They all bailed out before the crash. Danny A, Gabriel, and Marisa have set up some small artillery on the nearby hillside. They said Bucky, Fulsworth, and Dugan bailed out over the castle. Then Madam Hydra's got them. They're probably nearby. I know how you feel, but be careful. Fighting without your shield will take getting used to. I'm gonna search the area. Try to determine where they're being held. Radio Marita and tell him to stand by for coordinates. From what I've seen down there, I may need that artillery. Rogers, out. On your knees. You're a big one.
familiar. I think the lab Zola dragged me through is on the other side, and I'm betting my shield is too. I feel the hands of my illustrious ancestors at work in what happened today. I've been contacted by a man who shares my vision if not my noble heritage. He calls himself the Red Skull, an overly theatrical title to my tastes, but I must admit the resources at his disposal are impressive indeed. I have agreed to meet with him. Underground railway. That must be how they keep this place supplied. Zola wanted my shield analyzed. This is where he'd do it. All naked without this. Our excavations of the tunnels beneath the castle create the need for demolition on removal of heavy debris. To this end, I have perfected the first successful crafting of mechanical apparatus onto the human body. 
Using the cube, I have developed a pneumatic jackhammer arm and attached it to heavily augmented soldiers. A targeted lobotomy removes the traditional psychotic side effects, keeping these workers calm and pliable. It also results in a total removal of any compassion, making the subjects ideal for handling prisoners. We have outfitted them with riot shields for crowd control. This mingling of flesh and machine intrigues me. Perhaps the future of evolution lies not within, but outside of fragile forms. Hmm. I may revisit some of my early experiments in mechanical design. Explore the possibilities further. My gear. Good. Everything's still intact. You really think you can save them? <laughs> You're already too late. I do get my favorites. He reminds me of a dog I used to have so much fun. They must have taken Dum Dum deeper inside. I don't find him soon.
This evening I received the Red Skull in the ballroom. I fear the splendor of the setting was wasted on the man. He appears single-minded in his focus on conquest and the acquisition of power. Still, these are desirable traits, and he clearly possesses the intelligence to recognize my importance in the success of his plans. I have agreed to future meetings. An alliance may prove mutually beneficial. The security codes for access doors have been updated. That biontech note. Access to the cell blocks and labs is now as follows. Hotel Gamma 4, 2 Alpha Tango. They've got them all right. Bucky's locked up in an adjoining wing. Just have to find the right door. According to the prison logs, Bucky's cell should be somewhere around here. skull both impresses and repels me. I confess to admiring the skill with which he has manipulated the present political tides to his own advantage. He has acquired backing from the regime in Berlin, while using those resources to build an army loyal only to him, the Order of Hydra. This has enabled him to accomplish much. Perhaps my own reticence to tolerate the presence of my inferiors has held me back in this regard. I have granted the Skull permission to house certain of his lackeys here while we go about our work. I'll bet my shield can disrupt those transformers.
Wait a second. That lock mechanism looks pretty flimsy. I bet I could pop it with a little explosive putty. and I'll take you both on unarmed. It's the best offer you'll get. I'm trying to help you, dummy. You hear that alarm? It's him. Trust me, you'd rather take your chances with this kid. Bucky, are you all right? I used to get worse from that fat kid on Delancey. Big as a brick house and twice as stupid. The others? Are they... Alive, last I saw him. Madam Hydra took Dugan and falls with that direction. But we're not the only ones. They've got POWs from everywhere. Americans, Brits, Russians, Free French, you name it. Gap, they've been tortured, starved. They need medics. They'll get them. I'll notify Peggy to send extra transport. No one on this level. Check sector seven. Listen, there's a railway tunnel running west of here. Ends in a bridge. They use it to bring in supplies. It's our best shot at getting that many men outside. I'll bust them out. If you can take care of the snipers in the guard tower. Consider it done. Here, courtesy of Stark. Miniaturized short-range radio receiver so the invaders can keep in touch. Amazing. Look at the size of it. I'll be impressed when it picks up Fibber, McGee, and Molly. Now, once I get the prisoners out, I'll come back inside and... No. You'll rendezvous with the others and head to the extraction point. When hell freezes over... 
Buck, if what you told me is true, these men will never make it on their own. <laughs> Always a killjoy, huh, Rogers? Take care of yourself. You too, Steve. Leave it to me. Good going. Is there a way to open that bulkhead door? Not from here. We need your help with that. There should be a control panel on the observation deck above you. Copy. I'll take a look. I'll handle that. Keep moving. Don't stop for anything. We'll need serious firepower to reach those bunkers.
missile turrets just what the doctor ordered. Could be again if they come after you. So let's make sure they don't. Rogers to Marita, do you read? Peggy told me you boys have artillery. I can definitely use some. Roger will go, Cap. Just give me coordinates. There's some sort of range-finding radar device up here. I'll see if I can get it to work. Stand by. Can't be standing by. Rogers to Marita. Prepare to receive coordinates by Morse code. Thanks, Buck. Now get those men clear. I'm going back in to find Dugan and Fallsworth. soldiers. I had a bad feeling it wasn't our boys who did this. All empty. Attention all laboratory personnel. There is a code 12 evacuation in progress. Follow all standard protocols. Find Dugan and Fallsworth. Now. Looks like they're pulling out the big guns to deal with these guys.
Still, Dugan. I'll have you free in a second. Are you hurt? Not near as bad as those Hydra devils will be when I get my hands around their necks. Do you know where they took Fallsworth? He was on that table not five minutes ago. They had him drugged. God knows what they're gonna do to him. That witch, Madame Hydra. She ran off with him as soon as the alarm sounded. Damn it. We have to take out the pulse cannon that shot you down before we go after him. Otherwise, our planes are sitting ducks. Who says we can't do both? There's two of us, right? You find Fallsworth. I'll get the cannon. Alone? <laughs> oh, I won't be alone. I'll have my little friend to keep me company. Which way did she take him? The freight elevator. Probably the best way for me to get topside, too. Let's go. If you think I'm leaving without you, you're crazier than Zola. It's the only way. We need both ends secured or they could trap us inside. Good point. I'll send it back down. See you topside.
jetzt so wahr, ja, Captain. Schnell, schnell! I don't have a shot. Get her, Cap. Consider it done. Dugan, above us. I've got it, Cap. Keep moving. Score to settle with that cannon that shot us down. My aim's in. Looks like the Zemo family was well off. Hmm. The invader's plane must have crashed near here. Ah! I do like a persistent suitor! Speaking to me when I'm restrained, or behind bars, or out of reach. But things are different now. I'm not one of the helpless prisoners you enjoy torturing. And I'll ask again. Where is Fallsworth? He'd say he's in hell. Let me send you to him. You only delay the inevitable. Dodge that! To my side, quickly! Don't let him reach the mistress! Fools! 
everything myself! To my side, quickly! Your friend is lost, as is your cause. when things get tough. I'm seeing a pattern here. Gone. But you can't have gotten far. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Here. Quickly! Seal the door! There must be another way in. Better take a look around. Bingo! This should lead to the trophy room. What have you done to fall for? <laughs> you're obviously afraid of, unless you'd care to prove otherwise. Gladly. This is beneath me.
Surrender. I'll see you get medical attention. Surrender to you? This is a badge of honor. I would sacrifice my life to give the master the time he requires. If you call Zola master, then you're sicker than I do. <laughs> Zola, no. I answer to a greater power. The Red Skull? He's here? Tell me where. Now! The bed, Captain! May your death be agonized! I should follow her. She'll probably be headed straight for the skull. I must say, the individuals the Skull surrounds himself with are distasteful in the extreme. Most of all, the loathsome scientist Arnim Zola, whose undeniable genius cannot compensate for his odious personality. I fully understand the need for pushing boundaries in order to achieve technological advancement, but there is a fine line between ambition and recklessness. A line Zola crossed long ago. The 
Got to warn HQ about the skull. That antenna on the building across the way means there's a long-range radio inside. More anti-aircraft guns. Shouldn't leave them operational. My prior concerns are mollified. Today, I confronted Sola over the risks his twisted experiments posed to the splendor of my home and the treasures housed within. I informed the Skull he would need to be reined in if the forces of Hydra were to continue to be tolerated in Castle Simo. Perhaps the Skull saw reason. Perhaps my own not inconsiderable army, loyal only to me, gave him pause. Regardless, I am pleased with the outcome. Zola's work suspended, the man himself assigned to research.
I know there's a radio in here somewhere. Rogers to base. Come in. Do you copy? This is Peggy. We read you. What's your status? The Red Skull's on his way. He's not here already. Any ideas where he'd arrive? Recon shows an air dock on the eastern side of the complex. The Skull's known to travel by Zeppelin. I'm on the eastern edge now. I need to find a better vantage point. Their rail system runs fully east to west of the complex. The eastern rail bridge should give you a clear view of the air docks. Find a way down to the rail line. Be careful. We don't know the Skull's full capabilities, and Falsworth is still a prisoner. I know, but I'm not sure where. And if I capture the Skull, I can force them to free Falsworth and every other prisoner in this place. I've got to try. Rogers, out. Hitting harder's great. Hitting smarter's even better. What? Dugan, come in. I heard an explosion. Dugan, please respond. <laughs> Sorry for the racket, Cap. Well, that was me being my usual clumsy self. Seems I broke their pulse cannon. Where's the fire? Oh, yep, that's Dugan, all right. Friends of enemy Dinsis. If we kill him, so let me spare our lives. We got bigger problems than Zola. That's a thing of beauty, Dugan. Now get outside, link up with the others. I'll be there soon. Your journey was pleasant. It was. 
until I arrive to find the castle under attack. A minor annoyance, easily dealt with. You, uh, did bring the cosmic cube? Of course. And I will use it to activate the sleeper. After you've given me the super soldier serum. Yes, certainly. I have it inside where no misfortune can befall it. From this minor annoyance? What we do here today will crush those idiots. Turn the tide of the war itself. The war? The war is meaningless. When both sides have weakened each other sufficiently, all the world will meet its true masters. And we will be ready. Hail Hydra. Now, if you will follow me. Only one chance to reach the skull in time. If one of these trains goes in the right direction. That runs east-west. I need one heading north. I can just get a train running north, I can hitch a ride straight to the skull. should do.
Sealed up ahead. If I can get this thing going fast enough, it won't matter. Found some sort of power plant. It's the American! Kill him! Fire at him! I've got company. I'll be in touch. Most of the energy is being diverted to something. Whatever it is, it can't be good. I'm gonna try and shut it down. Okay, but hurry. We're picking up a lot of chatter. The skull's on the move. If I can get up there, I can bring that whole setup down. blow any second. If I target the right equipment, I can take this whole plant off on it.
gotta plant explosives where they'll do the most damage. Should do it. Better get moving. It's working. The machinery's failing. That looks flammable. Timer set. Gotta move fast. It's all coming down. One more explosion to finish it. I can kill two birds with one stone here. No way across, unless I make one. If I hit that just right with my shield... enough time to get clear. There she blows. Whatever this place was powering, it's not anymore.
That did damage. They'll be swarming this place like flies. Gotta keep moving. Bucky, I've shut down the plant. I'm gonna try and reach the skull. Good luck, Cap. And be careful. So that's where all the power was going. The skull. Bucky, I found the Red Skull. I'm going in. I wish I was there. Keep your eyes open. It'll be heavily guarded. Something down there. Something massive. Bring it to life. They shut down the power too late. The only way to stop this now is to find the skull. diverted to activate the sleeper as well, should that become necessary. A model of efficiency and ingenuity, if I do say so myself. I have come a long way, Zola. Waste my time at your peril. Present with my compliments, the perfected super soldier serum. At last. A small amount to be sure, but from this we can synthesize enough to create. You! The serum! You made it from his blood. I'll give you more from his corpse! Iron Cross! This time, you may kill him, painfully. I'll feed his aim. I don't cross! Keep him back when I awaken the sleeper! Don't be a fool, Skull. You can't control that thing. It'll bring the whole mountain down. Yes! On you! Lie still! Kill for the Iron Man! You'd best hurry, Captain! The transfer is complete! I'm surrounded by incompetence! 
Very well, Captain. I suppose it's only right you die by my hand. Your countrymen will lose the will to fight. This is done in Kopf. Be an eye. Don't teach me, America. Bucky, you read? The skull got away. But I found some blueprints, and they show a lot more power being diverted to the Northern Chapel. I think that's where they're holding Fallsworth. Copy. I want in on this, Cap, and no arguments. You won't get any from me. Fallsworth could be in bad shape. I'll need help getting him out. You and Duke can get back inside. Hell yes. We're gearing up and on our way. Thanks, Buck. See you at the chapel.
I'm gonna need some serious firepower to take that thing down. Advances in armored ordnance have always been held back by the problem of mobility across difficult terrain. Inspired by the old world decor of this castle, I hit upon a new approach. The modern knight in armor. The result is the first bipedal walking tank in history. A single pilot, highly armored battlesuit. The recoil of conventional ballistics would affect the accuracy of this unit, so I took another approach. A cannon that fires concussive sound, deafening and disorienting. It wreaks havoc with the inner ear. With the target in agony, it is a simple matter for the pilot to close ranks and crush the opponent with brute force. To reflect the historic inspiration for this unit, I have dubbed it Iron Cross. A noble name for what will one day be a new force of knights spreading the glory of Hydra throughout the world.
The Red Skull has been a man obsessed, demanding further excavation into the castle foundation. It has become clear to me he seeks something specific. And he has found it. We have uncovered something monumental. At first, I thought it was some type of statue long buried and forgotten. But as more of us revealed, I realized with mounting excitement that it was nothing so mundane. A gigantic mechanical humanoid, constructed in a forgotten age, forged from materials I cannot identify. It is inactive, sleeping in its stony prison, but with the power of the cube, I hope to wake it. Under my command, a creature such as this would dominate any conventional warfare, even alter the course of history. To this end, the Skull has authorized use of the cube, but only under his direct supervision. I eagerly await his arrival, for the hour has come round at last.
be stupid enough to come here. Sleep every centimeter. Chapel, and it's well fortified. Fallsworth's got to be inside. Open fire! I can't walk through it. I have to go over it. Great. Better get out of their line of sight.
Looking for someone? Artillery strikes. Marita, stand by for coordinates. I've got some tanks that need showing. to go. The Skull has summoned more detestable lieutenants, including one young fellow who also claims to be a baron, yet allows the Skull and Zola to order him about like a common domestic. And the woman... If the baronesses who once lived here could see her mannish affectations and scandalous attire, they would faint dead away. I tolerate this duo's presence only with difficulty. Should they vex me, they will pay the price. The dish is done for. I'll have to find another. Target locked. Fire when ready. Stand clear. Cap, how do we do? AC back to back. Great news, Cap. Lucky Dugan are en route to your location. Get Fallsworth out of there. I just pray I'm not too late. Fallsworth. Bucky, Dugan. Beyond life. 
from death. I have transcended flesh, mastered it, including your friend Falsworth. You have inspired me, Captain. Your colorful symbolism, the way your inferiors worship you, follow you like sheep. After I have killed you, I shall drain your blood to recreate the super soldier serum and use it on your friend, transforming him into a symbol just like you. He will be my puppet, the perfect assassin. I know this man. He'd die first. And I'll die before I let you lay a hand on it. How nice. We both want the same thing. Stay away from it, Zola! Your fear is understandable. The more super soldiers I create, the more irrelevant you become. There's nothing special about me. Nothing that separates me from every other man fighting this war. You're correct in one respect, Captain. Die. Someday. Maybe even today. But not now. And not before you. Hold on, Fallsworth. I'm coming. I know. It wouldn't have worked. And he lost his chance. Fallsworth! Are you all right? Ugan, I thought you were well rid of me. Careful, Dugan. Zola somehow put his mind into that thing. I suppose it's an improvement, if you're as ugly as he was. Wish I'd been here to put him down myself. Your ignorance succeeded only by your arrogance. None of you could put me down. I am so far beyond anything you can conceive of. You thought yourself the next step in human evolution, Captain? I'm afraid not. I am. And it is the duty of the Cro-Magnon to cleanse the Earth of the Neanderthal. It's my duty to shut you up. Come on, let's get out of here and let the planes bomb this place. Wait, there's something underground, something big. I'm not sure the planes can stop it, or even survive it. Well, then we'll deal with it. We nothing. You're going outside where the POWs are waiting. The rest... No, you're all going. Cap, if you think you're putting me on the bench again, I'm not. We need everyone on the field. Whatever's under there is their ultimate weapon. I'm not sure I can stop it. I'm not sure all four of us can. I'm gonna need heavy firepower, long-range support. I'll need you manning the mortars. Dugan and Falsworth can do that. Or you, boy. What makes you so special? Listen to me. None of us are special. If we win, that'll be why. Because Zola and Skull think they're some master race, and we know they're not. We know no man is more valuable than any other. 
We know it'll take all of us to stop this evil from spreading. All of us standing together, doing our part. I'm best equipped to go down there and see if there's anything I can do to stop it. To find out what I can and relay it to you. But the truth is, it's probably more than I can handle. Which means it's up to you to stop it for good. With mortars or airstrikes or whatever it takes. We either win together or we die together. We'll carry out our duty, Captain. Have no fear of that. Give him a boot in the head for me. See you soon. When the evacuation plane comes, you be there to meet them. With or without me. Rogers to Merida. Bucky and Dugan are on their way out with Fallsworth. Listen, we've got a big target to hit. I need bombers inbound as soon as possible. Copy. Bombers inbound. What's the primary target? That's what I think it is. They'll see it. Stay alert with the artillery and tell Dugan to be ready. I'm gonna need everything we got. Your efforts are futile, Captain. I am everywhere. You should have escaped with your friend, Stephen. Now I have no choice but to destroy you. No turning back once I go in there. The castle's in ruins, your work is buried. It's over, Zola. How wrong you are, Captain. My victory is only beginning. All those people you killed, tortured, changed into monsters. And for what? For what? For this? One learns as much from failure as from success. My goal should never have been improving flesh, but rather leaving it behind. You had your body altered, improved. Now, I have improved upon you. You are but a footnote on the evolutionary path, one that will soon be extinct. If this is your idea of a body, you're sicker than I thought. How small-minded you are. A body is but a casing. The true power lies in my mind, in what it controls. Let the sleeper rise! for so long. I'll always be there to stop you.
planes don't stand a chance. I've got to get its attention. Maybe an artillery strike. Marita, coordinates are locked. Fire, fire, fire! Overgrown science project over here. Switch bodies all you want. I'll wreck them all. Targeting the planes again. Can't let it drop. That'll come in handy. This should get its attention. That's right, down here. Eye on me, Cyclops. Shield, don't fail me now. Buy you a few minutes. I'll handle Zola. Looks like I got his attention. Better keep moving. Nowhere else to run, Zola. Even a mind as twisted as yours needs a body to survive. Perhaps I will take yours. It's annoyingly durable. Kill him, you fools! And you'll die. Future. Count me out. Dugan, if 
think I saw something. I need you to expose its neck. You got it, Cap! Those cables. That's a tweet spot. Rogers was still in there. He got out. Buck, that explosion took out the whole side of the mountain. You should prepare yourself for the possibility then. He got out. for a second. You did it, Cap. The POWs? In the forest. We got them all out. Then you did it. You got those men out. You saved their lives. And every one of them is a key to winning this war. They were here for months. They saw Zola's experiments, worked as slave labor on his assembly lines, heard the details of Hydra's plans. Hydra didn't bother keeping secrets from them because they weren't supposed to survive. Each man we bring back is an intelligence gold mine. Thanks to them, Thanks to you, we'll be ready for whatever Hydra throws at us. We're that much closer to finding the rat holes they hide in. And we're booking ourselves a ticket to come back here, at the head of an invasion force. We did it. We all did it. Now come on. Let's get those men home. You have had your fun, Zola. Now stop wasting time on failed projects and get back to work. We will be seeing him again soon enough. <laughs> 